what's up youtube in the last tutorial we have made the frame for uh, compressing the image and storing the image in the database and retrieving it and in this tutorial we are going to code for the buttons so today we are going to code for the select button but before uh, doing that uh, you need to go to google and uh, let me first of all wish you a very happy mother's day today is mother's day to a very happy day for all the mothers out there and uh, may the god bless them all so just go to google and type in your thumbnail that is thumbnail later java and go to the very first link and go ahead and download the latest thumbnail data api that is 0.4.3 i've been using 0.4.2 since a very long time so this is a recent update just go ahead and download it i'm not going to download it i'll be working on the previous version only so just keep it i'm discarding it and then go to your project go to windows project select your project go to libraries right click on the libraries go to add jar and folder and select the java thumbnail api api from wherever you have saved it just strike open uh, sorry select it and open it it is now added in your project so now you are able to use all the classes present in the api thumbnail editor that we'll be using in our program this project so i have already coded for the image button i'll show you the code go to events action and action performed and this is the code here but before here uh, i'd go to the bottom of the file and create this three lines that is a string name file name set it to null create an image icons object called it format and set it to null keep it access as a private and a byte array with the name person name and set it to null we will need all this in our code so just make them global and then go to the button that you are used for select my button is j button 1 default so we'll start with creating a object of the j file chooser that will choose file for us set j file chooser chooser is equal to new j file chooser now chooser is equal to open file sorry open show open dialog and set it to null this will open a dialog box for selecting the files and create object of the file class and set it to chooser dot get selected file so the selected file will be set to this object f and the string that we have recently created which is global so file name is equal to f dot get absolute path method so this what this will do is it will set the absolute path of the selected file to the string file name now create a try and catch block and inside it type in an, uh, create object of the file class is equal to new file and pass in the uh, string that is file name so the object image is the object from the path here image now we need to convert this into a buffered image because if we are keeping it as an object and then we are converting the object into byte array so that is not going to resize it and the image will be stored with its full size so we need to compress the image size and the resolution so just create it into buffered image by creating object of the buffer image class that is buffer image is equal to image input output dot read image so the object will be converted into buffer image with the image dot read method and then create another thumb another object of the buffer image name it as thumbnail and set is equal to thumbnails this is very important that you type the t capital because it is a class of the thumbnail return api so thumbnails with s in with s thumbnails dot there is a uh, method called off buffer image so type in here off dot the argument as buffer image 
that we have converted from object. So do not place any semicolon here because at the next line you have to type the method dot size. So what this does is it will recompress or resize your image, actual image. So this is the trick that takes place here. So I have set it to 150 by 150 uh, height and width and at the next line do not terminate it. You have to set it as a buffered image only. So just uh, say dot as buffered image so it will be saved as a buffered image so what we have done is we have created a we have created the object converted the object into buffered image and then we have made a thumbnail of it using the thumbnail later API class uh, API so with this done the image is now stored in buff uh, in a, as a buffered image but we have to convert it into byte so that it can be stored in the database so call uh, create an object of the byte array output stream os is equal to new byte array output stream and then write image input output dot write thumbnail that is the object that we have created of the buffered image the format or the extension that is jpeg extension and the output stream is object of the output stream byte array output stream and place a semicolon in the next line create input stream is is equal to new byte array input stream and here we are passing the argument uh, object of the byte array output stream dot to byte array so it will convert the byte array into uh, it into byte array sorry and at the next line i have uh, committed sorry a file input stream object is equal to new file input stream and it directly takes the object without converting in it into buffered image and byte array so i have commented it and i'll show you why i have done this at the next line type in here byte array output stream create object name bos is equal to new byte array output stream at the next line i have created another byte array and named it as buff so byte array buff is equal to new byte array and the argument it takes is 1024 that is the size create another try and catch block and inside it type a for loop so in the for loop you have to create an integer say read name oh sorry read num semicolon read num is it, uh, inside the uh, curly brackets oh sorry inside parenthesis write read num is equal to is that is the object of the input stream we have created is dot read method and it reads the byte array that we have created buff and semicolon uh, and it closes and it compares to so is not equal to minus one and after that you have to place a semicolon so this is very important otherwise it will give you an error and inside the for loop you have to type in boss dot write that is the binary output stream binary array output streams object dot write buff that is byte array from 0 to uh, the size of the integer read num and close it and another line you have to write if you wish to to check uh, what is the size of the byte array that you have converted so type in system dot out dot print line read that is integer array plus plus inside bytes so it will display the bytes and just close the for loop close the track uh, try block and inside the catch block you have to catch an input auto exception so just type in here e dot print stack otherwise you can type in logger dot get logger the name of the class dot class get class name close the bracket of uh, meth for the method get logger dot another method you have to type in here that is log method which takes arguments level l capital dot s c v e r e in caps comma null comma object of the exception just close the exception and this is important we have already created a, a byte at the global as a global byte array uh, and set it to binary output stream dot byte array to byte array so it will convert and our image is converted into byte array here and this byte array person name we are going to store it in the database 
just close the catch main catch block and uh, type in any um, error message if you want to display that is a select an image if the user is not selecting an image so i'll just quickly run this program and show you uh, what we have done so the program is running i'll select an image and i'll select image from the default windows that is water lilies and i'll just open it so here at the console you can see that it is showing uh, the image is converted into bytes and it has read uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 lines of 1024 bytes and a single line of 252 bytes and if we are not using the thumbnail editor api and we are just uh, treating uh, the object uh, the object of the file class so what it will do is now i'll just replace it with the file input stream for the object this is the object as in seen here and i'll read it as a ob uh, object only file input stream as object so i've changed it from the uh, i'll change it from the byte array input stream to file input stream uh, this reads for the uh, buffered image and this one for the uh, object so i've I'm reading it for the object now and I'll run another instance of the program same program and I'll show you the difference so I'll select the same image that is water lilies now and open so this time it is reading uh, a very large amount of data that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 oh too much this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 I don't know how much but a large amount of data see and the first one has just read a few lines of data so the data conversion is uh, minimizing the size of the image and also the resolution of the image that you can see in the sorry for that in the next video so the image is compressed and is resized I hope you have learned something from this video and the your code works properly and in the next tutorial we are going to uh, save the image in the database as well as retrieve it in the J label. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day. God bless you.